Hey there, I'm Kate and this is Monocat. And today I'm going to talk about the differences between the Tesla V2 and T3. So let's get this started. The most riding experience I have is definitely on the Tesla V2. In the beginning I did not quite like it, since I learned to ride EUC on the much heavier and more sturdy Sherman and MSX. But after a short while I grew very fond of it and started to like how light and nimble it is to ride. Now that I did over 2000 km on it, I was wondering if the newer T3 that replaced the Tesla V2 in Bigotti's lineup might be a good upgrade. And thanks to my e-wheel, I had the chance to try the T3 in Bulgaria and now here in Poland to test it further. At the first glance, both of those wheels look very similar and are sharing obvious features but they have quite a different set of specs and ride feeling. The more I was trying the T3, the more I got the feeling that those two wheels are more different and should be seen as just separate wheels depending on what your needs are and not that the T3 is the new Tesla V2. The first obvious similarity is that both wheels have the same outer shell and the same 16 by 2.125 inch tire. The buttons also didn't change, with the on off and light switch at the front, as well as the lift switch under the handle. Also the light in the front, as well as the LEDs on both sides and the trolley handle on the left side stayed the same. The most obvious difference is the battery size. The Tesla V2 has 1020 Watt hours and the T3 has a significant bigger battery with 1500 Watt hours, which is the same as the V11 from Emotion. This makes a huge difference in range and weight. On the Tesla V2 I managed to get around 70 km of range as a 60 kg rider plus gear and for the T3 it would be around 110-120 km of range. But this is also changing the weight of the wheel. And while I can quite comfortably lift the Tesla V2 with around 19.4 kg the T3 with 23.4 kg is a bit more of a challenge. And when it comes to speed, the Tesla V2 starts beeping at me at around 46 km an hour and the T3 around 52 km an hour. Which might not seem like a big difference, but I think it's nice to have a little bit of more headroom in order to have a safe ride. The T3 finally got also a feature that was obviously missing in the V2, a backlight. But even though it is there and it gives a bit more visibility, it is not that strong. So if you plan to ride in the night, I would definitely advise to add an additional light just to be on the safer side. Also something new they added to the T3 is the display, where you can see your current speed, the mode you're in, your battery life, the temperature of the wheel and the current mileage. In this unit the mileage doesn't work, but I hope it does in others. The next thing that changes the ride feeling of the T3 in comparison to the V2 are the bigger, higher and more angled pedals. On the V2 we changed the original pedals quite quickly to Nilla Nova ones, since the original ones were just too small. Now with the higher pedals on the T3 it definitely takes the fear of hitting a curb or to go a bit off-road. The only thing that got changed on the shell is the mesh cover for the speaker and the light with the logo. 
Since they are not there anymore on the new T3, it doesn't hit the ankle uncomfortably during riding if you wear lower shoes. Without the mesh cover for the speaker, you would expect that there is no speaker in the T3 or that it's worse quality. But this is not the case. The speaker on the T3 is not amazing, but definitely not bad and surprisingly quite a bit better than the speaker on the Tesla V2. And together with all of this, the T3 also has a new hollow motor and a new black motherboard. When it comes to the ride, both of those wheels feel quite different. The Tesla V2 is way more nimble and easier to give it the first initial push for acceleration, which helps a lot for overtaking or switching lanes. Also due to its lower pedals and therefore lower center of mass, it is very easy and fluent to carve on without much effort. On the other side, the T3 feels a lot more stable and heavy, and also more capable when it comes to power, which gives it the right feeling of a small veteran Sherman. And thanks to the higher pedals, you can turn quick and sharp with it without the fear of scraping a pedal. Even though they seem so similar on the first glance, those wheels are quite different. Let me know in the comments which wheel would you prefer for yourself and why. With all those pros and cons, for myself I actually do prefer the Tesla V2. I like the light and nimble ride feel and the possibility that I can easily lift and handle it myself. Also carving is a lot of fun on this wheel, which I don't get from the newer T3. But purely logically, I do think that the T3 is overall the better choice, especially if it's the only wheel someone has and plans to do a bit more riding. Then it will be easy to go on a bit longer group rides and you will be able to keep up with the bigger wheels as well without having to think much about range and speed. But if you do want a smaller wheel mostly for commutes and errands and don't need that extra range, the Tesla V2 will do just fine and it's also very easy to ride and easy to learn on for new riders. With that being said, thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and if you feel really fancy, you might subscribe. See you next time.